Hello students. Today I am going to tell you one more method of solving problems related to time and distance. Now again an unavoidable part of all competitive exams and today I am going to uh, take one very important type of problem which is very frequent in all these competitive exams. So uh, let us take one example. Say we have this problem. Suppose there is a car which is travelling at a speed of say 40 km per hour. Now if speed of the car is 40 km per hour, then it reaches its destination 30 minutes late. We don't know how much time it originally used to take. But if it travels at a distance at a speed of 40 km per hour, then it will reach 30 minutes late. Now another condition is given, if the speed is increased to 60 km per hour, now the same car reaches its destination 1 hour early. So the routine time taken is not given, we are just comparing the routine time with two conditions if the speed is 40 then the time is 30 minutes more it takes 30 minutes more we reaches late and if speed is 60 then it reaches one hour early now we are required to find the distance of the journey now if you try to solve this question through traditional methods, you will spend a lot of time by assuming various variables. Original speed you will be considering as x kilometer per hour and distance as y kilometer per hour, y kilometers. Then you will be applying all sorts of different formulas, speed is equal to distance upon time and then comparing the original time taken with these two conditions, framing two equations in two variables and then solving uh, them to arrive at the final result of obtaining the distance between the origin point and the termination point. Now these types of questions if you solve by traditional method in competitive exams now it is equal to committing a crime. Why? Because it cannot be done by traditional method in less than two minutes and two minutes is a hell lot of time when it comes to competitive exams. So students who know the shortcuts of solving these types of problems can solve this problem in a matter of 10 seconds only. Yes, 10 seconds only without use of any kind of large calculations, big formulas, nothing. Just have the knowledge of a single concept, a small shortcut and you can find the answer to this problem. And the shortcut to that is, remember this shortcut, you have to calculate the distance. For this, just have the difference between these two times, time difference. See here 30 minutes late. So we have the original time as this, 30 minutes late, half hour late. 30 minutes is half hour, you have to convert it into hours half hour late and one hour early so one hour so the distance between these two times is one and a half hours so time difference is one and a half hours we are given a difference of one and a half hours then you have to multiply this time difference by the product of the two speeds given product of speeds the two speeds given here are 40 and 60, obviously the product is 40 into 60. Then in the denominator you have the difference of speeds, difference of speeds. Now this is a very very simple concept which can be used in competitive exams for finding the distance and you will be amazed to see the result coming up in next 5 seconds. The time difference here is one and a half hours so 1.5 product of speeds 40 into 60 and difference of speed 60 minus 40 1.5 into 40 into 60 upon 20 cancel 20 
So 1.5 into 120, 120 plus 60, that is 180 kilometers, is the distance between the origin and the terminating point. See, one single concept, one single shortcut, and you get rid of all the variables x and y which you are assuming or traditional methods no formula nothing just one shortcut let us take one more question this is question one now let us take question two similar to this uh, let us assume that we there is a cyclist who is cycling at a particular speed to reach his destination now condition is if the speed is four kilometer per hour then what happens is he reaches two hours late but if he speed if he speeds up and increases the speed to eight kilometer per hour then obviously he will reach early so he reaches one hour early now again we are required to find the distance so now apply the same concept distance is time difference now this is a concept time difference 2 hours late, 1 hour early, 2 hours late, 1 hour early, so di this difference between the two is 3, 3 hours multiplied by product of speeds, 4 into 8 upon difference of speeds, 4 and 8 difference is 4, so 3 into 4 into 8 upon 4, 4 cancels out, 8 3 are 24 kilometers is your answer. So, a small concept and every problem can be solved. Obviously, the problem has to be of this kind. The formula which I told you just now can be applied to problems of this kind only. So, this is the part one of this video. A particular type of problem of time and distance is solved through this method. Wait for my video, the part two of this problem to have the knowledge of more questions of time and distance which will be coming up in subsequent time. Till then, Keep sharing, keep enjoying and subscribe the channel if you like it.